the big social media controversy. Recently, Facebook said that it would not ban political ads even if they made false statements. And everyone said, oh, man, we're screwed. And now Facebook is saying, oh, no, we'll make sure you're not screwed. Facebook and Instagram users who post emojis or emoji strings in a sexual manner will now face being banned. That means if you use eggplant, peach emojis, or sweat emojis, Facebook and Instagram will be looking at just how you're using them. Really, Facebook? <laughs> you're banning eggplant and peach emojis? You realize now it's gonna be so hard to explain to your grandma why her eggplant and peach salad post got deleted? <laughs> You're gonna be like, so, Grandma, uh, Facebook thinks you're a hoe. Uh... <laughs> be like, you do one gangbang, it follows you for the right... Wait, what? <laughs> you know what I find fascinating about this, right? Is that there's apparently nothing Facebook can do if Russians post fake political ads or Nazis send death threats, but all of a sudden, they're coming off to horny people, like, we got a cold water squirt here, hold go, cold water squirt, <laughs> let's roll, fellas. And by the way, I also thought it's fun to imagine explaining to someone from the 19th century, how dating has changed, right? Because they would be like, in my day, we used to court our betrothed by putting a sonnet into a love letter. And we're just like, really? We just text vegetables that look like our ding-dongs. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's move on. Because while Facebook is banning emojis, the city of Las Vegas is trying to ban actual humans. Las Vegas makes it illegal to camp or sleep on the streets or sidewalks. At the city council approving the measure in front of a fired up crowd. <laughs> Protesters say the ban criminalizes the homeless population. Those violating the law could be fined up to $1,000 or put in jail for six months. Are you shitting me? This is heartless and disgusting. The city of Vegas is making it a crime for a homeless person to sleep on the street. Like, what's their pitch? Oh, we don't want these homeless people because they might scare away our usual crowd of pimps and bookies, you know? <laughs> and also, how are you gonna fine a homeless person? Asking a homeless person to pay a fine is like asking Nancy Pelosi to blink. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Those eyes don't close. <laughs> it's also crazy. It's also crazy that the punishment for being homeless in the street is gonna be six months in jail. Like, for me, this is always the paradox of America because the government could be providing housing for homeless people, but instead they'd rather spend $4,500 per person to put a homeless person in prison, which is a place with a roof and a bed and a TV. That's a house. Just give them a house. <laughs> Take away the bars and the toilet wine. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> but instead, the city's gonna force the people to live in jail, and then what, at the end of the sentence, you're gonna be like, okay, you're free. Do you have a house yet? It's like, no, then get back in there. Get back in there. <laughs> All right, moving on. We all know 911 is the number to call when there's an emergency, but now you may want to have a backup. The 911 personnel under fire after an emergency call was mishandled while investigators say the supervisor was apparently streaming Netflix. When a gunman opened fire, his bullet barely missed a woman sitting in her car. She called 911 three times, but the police never came, in part because the supervisor was distracted, watching Netflix and Hulu on the job. I just called the police a few good minutes ago, and they're still not here, and I just got shot at in the car. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out. Another four minutes passed. Still no cops. Hi, I just called. I'm going to drive to the police station. Is that OK? Oh, man. First of all, I need the gumption of this woman. She gets shot at. The police don't answer, so she's like, I'm just going to drive to the station myself. <laughs> Yeah, that's conviction, because Grubhub gives me a kale salad instead of the ice cream I order, and I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> you know what would be weird is what if she gets to the station and all the cops are also watching Netflix, huh? Then she's gonna have to do the whole investigation herself, finds the shooter, takes him to court, but then when she gets to court, the judge is also watching Netflix, so then she then has to do the trial herself. It's just like a one-woman justice system, which is such a great story. They should make it into a show on Netflix. They really should. <laughs> I think that would be a great show, and the police would be watching it when she calls. <laughs> Can we also admit that this is partly Netflix's fault, though? Like, they make binging too addictive. Like, instead of always recommending more shows, maybe Netflix should have a setting for people at work. So it says, if you like Stranger Things, you may like doing your f***ing job. <laughs> it might work. I do have a tip for anyone, though. If you do call 911 and you suspect that they're ignoring you because they're watching Netflix, there's actually a code that you can use to make sure that they send someone right away. You just say, black guy, and then they spring right into action. <laughs> yeah, it works for anything. It really works well. 
You just pick up the phone and be like, hello, 911, my cat is stuck in a tree, and there's a black guy up there. We're sending someone right away. He's on his way.